Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I am really interested in this palette. It looks very interesting. It's from my local guy, Cars Recycling. His info is down in the description below. It's a general merchandise target palette. So I think this is kind of shelf pulls, customer returns. I have no idea what kind of condition everything is in, but we're definitely gonna check it out. I paid $401 for it. He dropped it off for 25 bucks, so I'm all in at $426. Let's get in here and see what we find. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. All right, let's get in here. So we're just going to see what we can find here right off the top. If you want to see what kind of what I saw from the top, um, we were able to just look in the top and move a few things around within reaching distance to try to choose our palette. And so that's what we kind of went for. So these are kind of fun pillows. Nifty. Yeah. So um, this is one of those letter boards where you can put words on it. So those are kind of fun. Looks brand new. Yeah, it does look brand new. Um, and then, of course, you've got matching pillows. You want it this way or this way or this way or this way. <laughs> these are fun. All right. So we'll have to check those out and see what those are. Uh, what is this? It's an opal house wreath, like a gold decorative wreath with so pumpkins on it. Does it look like customer returns or what does it look like? This looks like a shelf pull to me. I don't think this ever went to someone's house. So, Any price tag on it anywhere? Um, no. Uh-uh. We'll have to scan it. It's an opal house. So we'll have to see. Let's see. What's this? This looks like a just a picture frame. Um, don't, you don't have to care about the picture. It's actually just a picture frame for sale, a five by seven or 11 by 14. And then this is a cool lamp with shelves on it. So we'll have to, Ooh, definitely. This is a customer return. Look, yeah. and you can hear it. So we're going to have to inspect this one. All right. Oh, this one's adorable. Look at that little lamp. I think this one's in good shape. Yeah, that's a cute little lamp. That looks brand new to me. Oh, yeah. Looks so, good. Yeah. It's got its tag still on. Yeah. I love the wooden horse. Wooden horse. Look at it, the wooden horse. He's got short little legs. Look at him. It's a little wooden horse. It is fun. Oh, does he have a price tag on him? He is made in the Philippines. Let's see. No, it doesn't say how much. Look where it says made in the Philippines. Does it give a price on it? Ooh, 20 bucks $20 for a little wooden, wooden horse. horse. Little short leg wooden horse. Look how short the little legs are. They're so cute. That's an awesome horse. All right. What else we got in here? Lavender scented oils. Okay, so this bottle is okay, and the little incense sticks are okay, but the packaging is... But everything else is fine. Original price was $15 on this. Lavender and sandalwood. Okay, so that'd be something I could sell maybe on my own website. Here's some blackout curtains. Uh, multiple ones. And they all match. Hopefully the $100 curtains. $100 curtains! I don't know why I said it like that. I was really excited about the $100 curtains. So, oh, I love these lanterns. Look at that. This is awesome! Is that glass or plastic? I don't, I think it's glass. Can't believe it didn't break. I think it's glass. That looks awesome. This is amazing. I feel like we need to keep this and put it in our yard. Or in our house. I think it's just a decorative house thing, isn't is it? Is it a house one? Look at the tag. It says, Lantern, copper finish, original price, 40 bucks. There's a couple of dings here. Like there, the paint's wearing off a little bit. That's and, not too bad. And I think it's supposed to have a little pole that locks it closed, maybe. Oh, maybe. See? Like a little stick or something in there. May yeah, maybe. But, I mean, you if it just sat on a table, it wouldn't maybe, matter. Maybe, where would you sell that? I would sell that at a, either at a garage sale, Facebook Marketplace. I Facebook would definitely marketplace. Facebook Marketplace that. Yeah. All right, what's this? 
Oh, look at this. It's a planter hanger. So it goes like that. That's pretty cool. So the hair is the plant. Yeah. I see another one over here, too. Look. Oh, cool. There's a matching set. Nice. Multiples. I know. I love They're multiples. Broken. Yes, that's shocking. Uh, lava lamp. Clearly been opened. We'll be testing that. Lava lamp. What are the chances it would, it would work? Ooh, I don't know. 50-50? All right, what else is in here? Here's a brass wall sconce for, like, a candle. What was that going for? Taper candle sconce. Uh, original retail price was 25 bucks on that. What else is in here? What is this? Oh, here's another pot, hanging pot thing. Clearly damaged packaging, but I like the brass look. My mom used to have, like, hanging pot things like this in the netting in her house. That's a cool one. All right, what's this? A curtain. Lush. Two panels. Very roughly curtains. Beautiful. See the ruffles? A lot of ruffles. It looks like it goes into a Victorian house, kind of. Another curtain there. Gray. Project 62. Kind of a blackout curtain. Here's a, another blackout curtain here. These are napkins. So this is all good household stuff. The nice thing about the fabric is usually it's not broken. Um, okay. Here's another set of napkins. Ooh, look! For the couch and the love seat. <laughs> All right, what's this? Table. I think it's a table runner. I don't know who gave me that idea, but table runner. It's a nice gray one, just a gray and white striped one. We got some curtains here. Oh my word, these are so soft. They're like a velvety bunch of them. So here's one, two. It looks like they're 54 with 95 lengths, so a very tall window. 95. And then usually you can't find them this long. A 95, they're all the same length. Let's see, is there another one in there? Is that it? Okay. Ooh, look at this clock. That's an nice, easy, that's nice an easy read clock. clock. Yeah. You put this one in the back of the church. We were talking about putting a clock in the back of the church <laughs> to get Paul to stop preaching because he preaches so long. Actually, no, it's really good. But this has big numbers on it. I don't think big enough, but all righty. What else we got in here? What is in these? Gallery matted 8x10. My guess is a picture frame. That's my guess. Let's go ahead and open one up. Is it art or is it the picture frame? I don't know. It's from China. Because there's a, a bunch of these boxes in there, so I'm curious. I hope it's some sort of art and not just a picture frame. Of course, I don't know what the market would be best for. Super, super tape. I can just pull it out of the bubble wrap here. There we go. Oh, nice 11 by 14 frame. That's a nice frame. Mm -hmm. All right, well, at least we know what's in these boxes. So, oh, well, if I would have just pulled the next thing out, I could have just known what it was. So we've got a bunch of them here. So we're going to stack them all together. They all say the same thing. Looks like we got some new ones here. Another piece of, ooh, that is a nice frame. That silver kind of. Kind of a wood look. Yeah, I like that one. That's a nice picture frame. I think we're going to be able to sell these all day long. All right. Another curtain, light filtering curtain. Um, another one. These are different colors. That's a dark and that's a light. Put our pile of curtains over here on this side. I see lots of picture frames. Here's another curtain. Another curtain. I'm just trying to get all the curtains out of the way. That one I don't think is in good resellable condition. What do you guys think? Hmm. hmm. Not really worth it. <laughs> Alrighty. We got lots of little. Look at these. 
Well, that's a picture Solid frame, Solid gold. Solid gold! And if you rub it too much, it turns silver. Hey. What? Hey. Huh? It's gold leaf. You don't even have to change the picture. You can make someone think it's an optical illusion. There's a bunch of them in here. Look at that. Do they have a price tag on them at all anymore? Uh, yeah, $15, Opal House. 15 bucks? 15 buckaroonies. And the glass is not broken in them, which is shocking. That is really amazing. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look. There's a couple of circular ones to go with like it. Like the sun or something? Yeah, yeah, I guess. That's cool. Those are neat. This thing is packed full of stuff. Packed. I'm going to take all day trying to get these out. All right, here is this one. I'm trying to get all these gold leaf ones out since we've kind of already seen them. Not breaking them. All right. Kind of a distressed black one. Extra distressing up here, if you'd like. Doesn't really match the rest of the frame, but it's extra it broken. It's broken. Yeah. But the glass is not broken. All right, let's see. What are these? Ooh, there's a neat picture frame. One, two, three, four, five of them. Cool. Those are cool too. What are these? They almost look like coasters, but they're not. They're picture frames. Little kind of wooden bead looking doodads. things. Little doodads going around. What are these? This is. I don't know. It's a curtain? Yeah, it's a curtain. Okay. Everybody needs a big breast bowl. <laughs> you know you need one of these. This is clearly put it on your coffee table and put some cool unique item in it and you have no children at home because if we put this on our coffee table it would have a collection of junk in it like stuff they don't want to take care of that's what it would have in it <laughs> huge bowl yep too huge we can wear them as hats paul yes we should we should like this either way or like this. Could be a fashion trend. Could be. Future fashion trend. I mean, the aliens can't hear what I'm thinking now. That's right. So it's definitely a good thing. Awesome. <laughs> Those are neat decorative pieces, though. All right. I'm going to get some of these curtains out of here that are unfolded. I can do my best. There's a couple of matching ones, so I may try a little bit of extra effort. Oh, look at that. That's a cute vase. Man, that's a big vase. I think Macari or Hooked on Picking is where a lot of this is going to go. So I will be doing a listing video, so check that out um, and see if you're interested. So a lot of brass in this one. Okay, this... Is crushed to pieces, so this is not really worth it. I mean, ooh, there, now it's circular again, kind of, sort of. All right, so I probably won't resell that just because it's kind of crushed to death. But look at this lamp. Look at that. I love that. I might steal one of these little white ones that we pulled out for our bathroom. We kind of need a little lamp in the bathroom. Yeah. And we've got this one. You put stuff inside it. I've seen these. Um, we went to a vacation home, and they had actual seashells from that beach that they had collected, the couple. And this is really cool. There's a USB port on it. Charge your phone. That is cool. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. If I didn't just buy a bunch of new lamps about a couple months ago for my living room, I would totally keep all of these. Of course, I bought lamps that all match each other now, so... All right, a neat piece of artwork. That's pretty. Is that actual artwork? I think so, yeah. Created independent artists. Yeah, this is artwork, not just a frame. All right, we're going to put that over here on this side. Oh, here's some more of these things. Oh, I can't get that, that one out. But this one, it's trying to come out of its packaging, but I think it's new. I just hope it has all the letters. This one is really dented up, though. If you look really close, see? So that's clearly in unsellable condition. We should throw it in the air and see if it sticks, since it's a star. <laughs> okay. 
All right, what else we got? This has been opened. What is it? Curtain lights kind of hang along a wall. Then we've got picture frame and a picture frame that's got gold on it and a picture frame. We've seen this one already. I think I got another one right there too. Lots of picture frames in this one, which is a little bit irritating to, to ship, but not too bad. Usually they sell for pretty well. So I will probably end up lotting some of these things together just to make it a little bit faster sales for me and less work. Here's some five by seven frames. Those are all really nice. Match those eight by 10 ones. I might replace my, I've got some five by seven and eight by 10 gold ones that I'm not a big fan of. I might switch them out for those black ones. All right, what's in here? Ooh, here's another one of those lavender and sandalwood incense burners. Here is a candle warming plug-in light, but it's kind of broken. It's like one of those Sensi's, but um, the ones you plug into the wall. So that one's clearly not functional. Ooh, is this a candle? Let's see if it smells good. Indigo Woods, the collection, Chesapeake Bay candle. Finally, finally fragrance candle. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells really good. You want really... me to smell it? You want the viewers yeah. to smell Yeah, would you like to smell? Like smell. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks. Doesn't that smell good? smell a vision Fantastic. <laughs> All right. What is, what is that? Is that a... This is a paperweight or wait? Nope, that doesn't fit. What does this go to? I feel like something needs to sit on here. Nope. All right, well, I don't know what goes on here. Is this a base for one of the brass bowls or something? I don't know. Okay. Might be. That might be it. Okay. Ooh, these are cool. Look at those. Super intricate. Here's another one. Uh, this is another picture frame, similar to the ones we, the little square ones, but a little different, different size. Anybody need picture frames? Because I got them. Here's some more distressed ones. Here's a plain black one. Do people even buy photo frames anymore? <laughs> Do you even print? Look at that. How is that not broken? Glass. Candle. I can't believe that's not broken. Oh my word, that smells so good. Pineapple tangerine, tropical mango, mandarin berry. I might have to keep this. I'm standing here getting high on candles during this. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got curtains. I'm going to return this and tape. We got a pile of curtains over here. All right, here is room darkening curtains. That actually looks like it's still in the package normally. So it's folded a little too well. Oh, look, here's another one. These are intriguing. What are they? I don't think they're for the base of the this bowl. Way. Here, we can look. Let's go over to the brass bowl. Yeah, because see, it's much bigger. Yeah. It's much larger, so I don't think that's it. What does it say? Um, candle holder. So it's for a jar candle. You just have to find the right size jar candle because that other one was too big. All right. For probably a pillar candle, what is this? Glass jar candle. But the, the top of it is broken. See the flower? How oh, it's all cracked. Let me see if it smells good. Ooh, that one smells good too. I don't know what scent it is. What scent is it? Pink berry. Pink berry. I guess that's what pink berry smells like. All right. Did you smell it? Okay. We've got more blackout curtains. Ooh, look at that. That's a cool picture frame. Oh, that is cool. It's like a shadow box style. That's cool. Put those over here. I like that one. Kind of the industrial look to that. What is this? More curtains. Here's a room darkening. Looks like it's brand new. 
There's another curtain. So these are clearly, this is a customer return. This might have been a nice customer return where they got it home, went, nope, wrong color, won't even take it out of the package, but looks like a shelf pull to me. This looks like a shelf pull to me because it still has a clearance tag on it. Um, so we're going to just keep making our pile of curtains over here. Let's see, we got a little throw pillow that unzips with little tassels. Hide all your money in there. Yeah, hide all your money. We've got a lamp that's clearly been returned. LED floor lamp. This would probably be something that I would just set up at a garage sale and throw like five bucks on it. Um, just because you can't really sell it with a box. So, or I'd throw it on Facebook Marketplace. As I break the box more. All right. Wow, we're not even really making a dent. I guess a little dent. String lights. Those look like a return. A retaped box. Yeah. Here is a cool picture frame. I like that one. I like the white. I think I'm going to redo all the picture frames in my house. There's a pillow with leaves on it. What else we got? This is a... What is it? A diffuser. diffuser. Yeah. Cute. Well, it looks like a teardrop here. There we go. That's a better picture. This is an even better one. Ta-da! Is it purple? Add water and essential oil. I think it lights up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it, yeah, light modes. See, it has different colors. Cool. So that's neat. All right, what else we got in here? Huge O pillow. Look at that. Bam! Mint green. Lots of fabrics in this. But, oh, here, this is a matching pillow to the one I pulled out earlier. I like getting sets like this because I think it's going to be a lot easier to sell them. Like the gold ones I'm going to sell as a four-pack probably. All right, here is a set of kitchen curtains. Here's another set of kitchen curtains. Here is a battery-operated candle. Ooh, can we put it inside the brass lantern? See if it works. Batteries must be dead. Yeah, batteries must be dead. Try me. Doesn't work. <laughs> the try me doesn't work. Oh, because it's not plugged in. There's no batteries in it. Well, we'll have to try it out. All right, I'm going to cut down the box so that I can reach everything. I think I've got a box cutter right here. Yep. So. Try not to cut the things in the box. This is a really, really sharp box cutter. All right, here we go. So we, it looks like we got some throws, really nice fluffy throws, Afghan kind of throws, red ones and green ones, bunch of those set over here. I'm running out of table space. There's so much stuff in this palette. This, oh, these are these anti-fatigue floor mats. These actually sell really well, surprisingly enough. And this one looks like it's a little bit reversible, maybe, maybe. All right. Curtain rod. Half the curtain rods in my house are from liquidation boxes. So that's a good one. Still has the brackets and everything and the tags. So I could probably get that to sell fairly well. Here's a clock. Woo, that's a loud clock. I like that clock a lot. This would go great in your mom's kitchen. Yeah, it almost looks like a diner clock. It does look like a diner clock. I love this clock. It's metal. No, plastic. It looks metal, though, doesn't it? It does look metal. This is metal, but this is actually plastic. Hmm. What's the maker? The maker. 
Please call for assistance. Sorry. <laughs> Suzuki. <laughs> Says Suzuki. Nothing. Made in China. All right. What else we got in here? Look at th what is this? Is this a throw as well? Yes, a woven throw. Look at the tassels on that. Nice. That's a fun, fun one. Put it over in my fabric section I got going on. Tablecloth. Set the perfect table. Beachy. Beachy tablecloth. Yeah, it does. Here is a wall shelf. These are expensive. I know, because I just bought these for my daughter's room. This is a really nice deep one. Look how deep that is. So it would go on the wall. Oh, look. Well, that's worthless. Nothing burger. All right, what else we got in here? Another diffuser. Ooh, different shape. Sparrow. Okay. There's another one down in there. I'm going to grab two. The exact same kind I just pulled out here. This one. Kind of the egg shape. All right. And we've got another lamp that looks like this, only this one is gold. The other one was silver. So this one is gold. It says salvage on it. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's broken. It means that Target didn't want it anymore, but it may be broken as well. We'll have to test it and see. Those would be perfect to put on my sunroom if I wanted to. Look at this little cute lamp. Oh, I love this lamp. Too many cute little white lamps to choose from. And they all look brand new because the cords are still all wrapped up. Look at all these cute white lamps. All right, we've got tension rods. A couple of different kinds of tension rods. Uh, another curtain. Couple of throws over here. That tassel throw again. I'm gonna throw, put all the blankets kind of over in this corner. What is this? This is curious to me. Is this a throw? It's so soft. Look at that. Now that is a fluffy blanket. It's as soft as it looks. It's really soft. Looks like, like a fur coat almost. All right, what else we got? Oh, look at this. It's a little baby gardening set. Terrarium tool set is what it's called. I feel like brass is the theme of this one. Oh, can't get that out. What is this? Here is a fluffy throw as well. <laughs> St stuck to a sticker. Let go. All right, look at that one. Very fuzzy. It would never stay white in my house. <laughs> my kids like to spill stuff all the time. And I don't even have toddlers. All right. All right, this is a netted opal house. Oh, it's a runner. It goes across your table. I thought it was one of those, um, those uh, hanging plant holders, but it's not. It's actually a table runner. So you can kind of see on the picture there. So that'll be something. I think a lot of the stuff would go great at a garage sale if we ever get to have them again. Um, here's another throw. Oh, this looks like a, is this a table runner or a tablecloth or a curtain? This is a light filtering curtain. I like the edges on that one. All right, here is a really cool picture frame. Kind of a wood shaped picture frame. Wood shaped, wooden co wood color. Oh, but look at the back. So it'd be great if you want to hang it on the wall, but you can't set it on a table. So this might be just a, probably don't want to sell it unless it's a wall hang only. Bunch of candles. And then look at all these Scentsy ones. This is a pumpkin spice for the Scentsy. Home scents. 
So we've got pumpkin spice. This one is bourbon pumpkin. This one is under the tree pumpkin spice. Just a bunch of them. So those will all probably sell fairly well because you can't find them in the stores right now. What is this? This is probably a curtain rod, my guess is. Taped together. Yes, length distressed white curtain rod. Okay. Let's see. Ugh. Come on. Yep, distressed white. This is another curtain. Let me see. Oh, hold on. Ready? 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 Wait for it. Wait for it. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Wow. I couldn't wow. help it. <laughs> Another curtain right here. Blackout curtain. Just couldn't help it. All right. Here is another elderberry and incense with diffuser. It's the never ending palette. Okay, mini shades probably go to those little curt those little lamps. So they're kind of in rough rough shape here. A bunch of them here. What is this lamp? Well, that wasn't a package. That's a cool lamp. Must have come with a shade since it's attached. All right, I am running out of space. I'm gonna set some stuff over here. More curtain rods here, different lengths. So we'll have to pull them out and see if they're in good shape. Here is a over the door kind of brass finish. It says not a toy <laughs> on it. All right, here's a runner, another incense package. Trying to keep all the fabric in one spot. I love this red diner clock. I wish I had red in my house, but I don't really have a room that that would work in. Here's another terrarium set. All right, here's another curtain rod, black one. Let go. <laughs> so we do have some matching curtain rods, which is cool. Another one of these, but this one's all smushed in the corner. Probably because it was at the bottom of the pallet. My guess it got wrecked in shipping. All right, let's see. We've got curtain rods. This says distressed white. I think this is, okay. Let me just show you what the distressed white ones look like. This is at the end of the curtain rod. Kind of looks wood. So that's what, basically, it's varying different lengths of the same curtain rod. Here is a brass one with a little kind of straighter edge. These, I think, are going to be Facebook Marketplace just because they're going to be easier to move that way. Here's a bunch of light letterbox letters. So my daughter has a light letterbox. I wonder if these would fit hers. I'll have to see if she wants them. All right. More curtains. Here is a candle. Coconut Berry Bliss. It's been taped like crazy. I sell candles fairly well. I've sold some candles on Poshmark before. Here's another curtain rod. All right. What is this one? Just a huge, I can't, how is that glass not broken? Miracle. It is a miracle. Fantastic glass. I guess. I'll probably break it. <laughs> Here is little room essentials lights. String lights. More curtains. More curtains. 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 
more sensey things. Plant anyone? Plant. Oh wait, gotta make it look alive. <laughs> it's, it's like the Charlie Brown tree. There, now it looks better. It's decorative. It's a decorative plant. These are the kind of plants I can keep alive. That's right, you can. Yep, because I'm terrible with plants. Well, you know. Unless they're outside growing on their own. <laughs> They got a fighting chance outside. Yep. All right, lots and lots of curtains. Looks like a pillow over here. It's a pillow. Yep, another one of those kind of pillows. Bunch of candles. Water lily petals. Another curtain. What is this? A little box. Not sure what you put in it, but it's taped like crazy. It'd take forever to get the tape hey, off what that. What's already in there? Just a piece of cardboard, looks like. I don't know what was in there. Hello. All right, I'm just going to kind of go through this because I think we've seen a lot. We've got some neat decorative curtains like this. I'm just going to kind of set it to the side. These are battery operated candles that are very sparkly. Decorative LED tapered candles. So those will probably sell pretty well. More curtains. Here is the, ma the matching lamp to that other one. Remember how it had the attached um, lampshade? So there actually is a set. Here's some more candles. This one is, I don't know what fragrance it is because it's covered up. All right, and then this one is actually not broken all the way at the bottom, not broken, it's shocking. Um, tea leaves is what it smells like. This one is Opal House inspired. It looks ultrasonic essential oil diffuser. <laughs> it's a watering can. That is the coolest watering can ever. Is it actually functional? Hold on. Yes. Okay. So this is neat. So see how the handle goes in here? The water actually goes through here all the way around. It goes straight through the bottom of the watering can and then comes out. Because if you look inside, I don't know if you can tell inside the candle, yeah. but it goes straight through. Very cool. So that's really cool. I love that. All right, here's some more picture frames. Um, more curtains. Another picture frame down here. I want to see what this was. What is this? It's a piece of art. Does it go like this? Or does it go like this? It goes any way you want it. Or does it go like this? Any way you want it. To. Or does it go like this? <laughs> Alrighty, and then this is a essential oil diffuser. Lots of those in here. Hey, a puzzle! Guy climbing a mountain next to a waterfall. These are really expensive puzzles. We've sold those for lots of money before. Ooh, look at this lamp. What was something so cool over there, Heather? Where? Behind that painting. Behind the painting? Ooh, it does say Polaroid. Oh, it's a digital picture frame. Is it brand new? Might be real good. That is brand new. There's, might be, might be real good. there's a matching lamp to that, too. Nice. I like the digital picture frame. All right, what is this? This is another um, curtain rod. I think we pretty much have gotten to the bottom of it. Let me just look through a couple more things. Look at that shelf. I love that. Okay, here's the piece of artwork here on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it out. I am shocked that this is in one piece. Look how big that is. All right, I think that is it. Here's something with pink tassels. <laughs> I love you guys. Loving. Uh, thank you. I love you for watching. It's, it's a love rope. It's a love rope. Okay, I'm just looking. 
Okay, here's a bunch of essential oils. Probably to go in all those diffusers we found. And there's a bunch of boxes of them. So it looks like they're all the same scents. Relax and lavender, eucalyptus, and sweet orange. Oh, sinus, sleep, and immunity. So they are different. That's the same one as the first one. Some more of these picture frames. What is this? Just a paperweight. This looks like a picture holder of some sort or document holder. Um, I'm just trying to kind of look through and make sure we haven't missed anything. Here's a kind of vintage looking wreath hanger. Another one of those terrarium tool sets. Um, and I think other than a couple of curtains, that is it. So that is a lot of stuff. Lots of candles, lots of scents, you know, scentsy diffusers, curtains, pillows, curtain rods, huge brass lantern holder. Yeah, there's a couple of little dings, but I still think we can make some good money on them. Um, those huge brass bowls are amazing looking. Everything is so cute. These are all the things that I wish I could buy when I walk down through the Target store because I love their home decor section. So I definitely think that I'm going to be able to get them to move. So watch my listing video, check it out, and we'll be able to tell you where these things are listed. If you're curious about any of the things that I sell, check down in the link in the description below. Hopefully it's been fun to watch this Cars Recycling Palette of my local guide. General merchandise from Target looks a lot like shelf pulls or customer returns. I paid $401, shipped it for $25. 426 all in. I definitely think I'm going to make my money back, but you'll have to watch that listing video to find out if I do. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. If you were me, you'd probably want to keep everything too, which I want to, but I'm a reseller by trade. So I better resell this stuff to make some money. If you also would like to be a reseller, I've got an ebook on Poshmarks. I've got some reselling tips and helps that you can buy at hookedonpicking.com. And if you want any of these items, check all the links in the description, Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, and of course, Hooked on Pickin' to buy any of these items.